Alright, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. Today, we're jumping back into the with God the of War Valhalla. Consequences of your action? Uh, last time we left off, and Mimir's head had disappeared, and I, I believe it's Helios' head had appeared. So we got a different... Stop interrupting. We got a different guy's head on our belt, which is really weird. It's uh, one of the Greek gods from the old, old God of War games that I didn't play that I saw the recap video on. Uh, Muck, did you see the post about the live stream on Lowland Shores today? No, I did not see that. I'm assuming that's something on the main Guild Wars 2 channel. Uh, Tyler says, hello, hello, all in chat, and Lord Muck. Good, good morning and afternoon. Hello, Tyler. Good morning. Hello. Um, Turned on any once trusted ally. You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. Uh, apparently a lot of people have called this guy Flashlight because he had, uh, lights that came from his eyes in the old games. And you would hold his head up and use him as a flashlight. Yeah, for anyone who wasn't here last time, this is the Valhalla DLC. Or I should say free LC, because they didn't charge anything for it. And this is kind of like a roguelike, which at first I, I kind of thought I wouldn't be that into. Um, like when I played uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I got to the roguelike portion, I did it once and then I was like, I'm bored and I left. But there's actually a lot of story that is still generated during this. So I, I'm here say, for it. The decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. So this is like Olympus or something? Make a zip line. <laughs> Before I walk through that. Alright, can't interact with any of this stuff. Now this room must really take you back. Oh nice, full health. Wasn't this the chamber of sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. What are you doing, Kratos? Sacrifice me? Again? <laughs> what up, nurse? Hi, Flirt. I'm sorry to hear you only had one hour evening stream playing Ant uh, Empire and nothing else. <laughs> no, I spent four hours finishing Veilguard, 
Then I was going to play Total War and everyone in chat started going, ants, 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 ants. And I was like, are you serious? So then we opened up Ant Empire and played that for an hour at the end. Uh, probably going to do a vote on the Discord after uh, morning stream today on what we're doing during the evening stream. Uh, cause uh, it's, it's time to start a new Keep title. Alive. I'll be right back. It's time to start a new fire, title. Just so you don't get bored. I demand yarn money for my birthday. Flute, in an unprecedented bit of news, I've actually got a second sponsor in the same week. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, we're gonna be revisiting the Veil of the Witch Eidolons game. Uh, they were so happy with us that, uh, they came back for, uh, return business. So, I'll have another giveaway tomorrow, actually. Uh... Let's see, Cyber, uh, Cyberpunk or Spider-Man would be my picks. Those are options. They are options. They were cha-anting. 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 Seems you'll need to push me along to get anywhere. Oh, good. You're making eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the plague! I'm wondering Come if on, you won't at get some that. point, uh, the like this will be like an illusion that breaks, and Mimir's head will be in the box, and it'll be like too late. Far without me. I hate to disappoint you, blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe <laughs> I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe <laughs> I'll explode to take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. Wait, I have to rage? What, what is this sword? Where did I... Is this a God of War 1 thing? Legacy is now available at the Spartan Rage Pedestal. You know, I could give you a hint, but I just feel like you wouldn't appreciate it. The Sword of Olympus? The Blade of Olympus. So that's a throwback to the old games. Time for another push. Let's go! Morning Mark, this seems different. Yeah, we're in the DLC or the free LC of uh um, Ragnarok. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that! Quickly! Make a sacrifice. You're really just going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary Brother? What am I doing in here? I'm here. I'm here. Told you. What's that? No. No! Get me out of here. Brother. What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Brother! Please! Please! Wow. I was right. Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. 
Sigrun screaming, I'm not supposed to be here while on fire and saving them from Valhalla. That was possibly a heavier moment than anything in Veilguard. <laughs> That's amazing. Mimir! Uh, oh no, you poor thing, look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. For beating the crap out of her in the previous game. <laughs> okay. Lady. Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't heal. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. Do you think her wings smell like roast chicken? <laughs> Way to ruin the moment. Well, that was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed into Helios and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll say. I'm truly not sure if we've gone too far, or if we've come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. We did more things and more things to do. Check. What was... Oh, wait, this is the cosmetic statue. Okay, yeah, I don't care about that. Let's just like, do you want your shoulder pad to have tassels? Ew! That's basically it. Aha! Another of those spots for bargaining with Valhalla. No shame in making things a wee bit easier if you can. Hmm. It's Pikachu! Uh. What is this? Enter Valhalla with a hundred fleeting echoes. Very low chance of finding light runic attacks. Already upgraded to level two. Heavy. Uh, increased number of glyphs sold. Okay. All right. What's the other one got? Uh, let's see. Can get more health. Uh, when Kratos exits combat with critically low health, he regenerates up to ten percent full. Proceed. Regen three percent of health. Start. Start each attempt with a res stone. That certainly could be useful. All right. Uh, how is the God of War blast from the past field trip so far? Really good. Really good. I'm wondering where Freya is right now. Why does this have an interaction thing? Uh, select the shimmering shield. It grants additional rewards for the next attempt. Uh, I am going to stick with what I'm comfortable with. Legacy. The memory of your past made manifest. Mm. Press EV to a wield the blade of Olympus. Memory. Left click, right click, left control, R buttons. Perform attacks that can be charged. Deal bonus damage and heal a small amount. 
Restore a small amount of rage by parrying attacks with Q and killing enemies. Exit the state early by using this command again. Options for this run. Uh, drastically increase the power of frozen breath and frozen ascent skills. Drastically increase the power of blazing surge and blazing explosion. Let's get that one. So chains it is. <laughs> Increase the damage of all Kratos' weapon attacks and abilities, or increase the damage of all your ranged attacks and abilities by 30%. I'll take the first one. Alright, and what's in this box? Uh, light runic attack, a sweeping circular attack that clears out nearby enemies. Or a quick uppercut that creates a fiery geyser launching nearby enemies. Uh... This one's got a much lower cooldown, and eh, let's get that one. Memory of Vanaheim. Hey, this is different. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. <laughs> It'd be funny if they appeared right when he said that. The symbols on the gateways indicate what lies ahead and can it help inform choices. Open the eye menu and press B to check out the symbol. What did you over. say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye. Guess I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest, much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamlike, to be honest. Hmm. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I'd. Mm, Hold on, what is this symbol? Uh, runic attack glyph. Earned, but I'm more than curious. Guess my memory's a fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely. And there's a triangle one there. Stats. Let's get that one. <laughs> I saw the tablet, but I don't have any currency to spend, so no point in checking. How much does Mike know about Helios? Not a lot. Like, I know he was in the previous Pantheon for Kratos. I know Kratos apparently cut off his head and used him as a flashlight. <laughs> Find your brother. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? Okay, I guess I can just hit her from the edge here. This Watch out! 
So you get some kind of stat increase from the box. Safe it area, what's up? Cost you? I wonder. Sacrifice health, gain a weapon glove. Or. Sacrifice rage, gain a gold perk glove. I'll sacrifice some rage. <laughs> Barehanded attacks, parrying, and blocking have a high luck chance to deal bonus damage and poison enemies. Oh boy! Uh, or killing an enemy while in Spartan rage restores some rage and health. I don't know how good this is, because the rest of the run, though, we're going to be getting a whole bunch of buffs for the chains. I'm not sure how good this is. Let's try it out. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice hit points for the other thing. <laughs> Svartalheim Sanctuary. <laughs> door there, but that's closed. That's closed. Closed. Okay, we got a few different things here. Alright, what's on the tablet? Uh, let's see. Pre melee attacks against poison enemies do more damage. Ah, wish I could buy it, but I don't have enough. Okay, we've got that thing. Um, my question about Valgar, did it have any good dragon fights like the previous games in the series? Did it have any good dragon fights? Uh, I read comment gameplay values. Um, it had some fights where you fought dragons, but you really didn't do anything special. A little boost this time around, maybe? Bringing echoes. Uh... Like, it definitely had more dragon fights than any of the previous games, except maybe Inquisition, because they, uh, the baddies kept bringing the dragons back to life over and over and over. So you fought the same ones repeatedly. Find you! Incoming! <laughs> Just found the thingy for it, so. Life gives you lemons. Punch things with them. Oh, 
Or something like that. See, hitting stunned enemies unleashes shockwaves has a chance to grant a stack of increasing strength and stun damage. Runic attacks to increase damage. Uh, that one. We do stun quickly when punching. Why don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine you keep seeing? If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out. And it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything. <laughs> but don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? To earn that path? Well, that would be a poor reason to... Okay, let's see. Weapon glyph. Except ambition is poison. Uh, per glyph. Guild part. Uh, Baldur says, Guild Wars question. Sure. What profession does the most damage per hit? Not thinking DPS. I'm thinking big damage numbers. Bladesworn. Other than Bladesworn. Oh, well. <laughs> well, the answer was obviously Bladesworn. Then you say other than Bladesworn. Uh, Dragon Hunter, maybe? Dragon Hunter has some bow attacks where they've got pretty long cast times and then they hit like a truck. Um, Deadeye. Has some like sniper type moves that are long cast times that hit really really hard. Reaper Reaper doesn't really do like few hard hitting moves. They do like a blender of moves. Didn't you comment in Dragon Age on an assassin who's using his fist instead of a weapon? Yeah, and guess what? I'm not an assassin. And you know what? That assassin died because he ran at the enemy without a weapon. That's showing him. Wow, so toxic. Well, I just called it like a season. <laughs> Melee attacks have a chance to critically strike, creating a damaging explosion, or increase the rate at which rage is gained when attacking status afflicted enemies and using runic attacks. Let's do uh, explosion. Really? You can't catch her? Okay. Let's just use some of this here. I believe your target's on the battlefield here. I was already wincing because I knew those were crunchy That's when you the killed one them. You uh, while charging flame whiplash, mash R with the blades, incoming projectile attacks will be deflected. No, let's just get stats. Uh, hey, my Gilbert Sue question. Yes. Do you think getting the fractal reliquary is worth it? Uh, I got salvaged excellence yesterday and I'm trying to decide whether to sell it or consume for achievements to get the reliquary. Orc. I do not have the reliquary. In looking at it from an outsider's perspective, I did not think it was worth it. So I have never bothered to get it. So I don't have first-hand knowledge or experience with it because I cons I looked at it and I thought it wasn't worth. 
grand. We should be free to move up to the next area now.